the duration of therapy that's appropriate for immunotherapy is very hard to know. Um, there are not good studies to date. Um, there are some theoretical reasons that you could go either way. That being, you could say that you're going to need to treat these patients forever versus that you would need to treat patients for a period of time. Different clinical trials have had different durations of therapy. There are some trials that have treated till the time of progression. There are some uh, trials that have treated uh, patients for one year, some trials that have treated patients for two years. Uh, we certainly know that there are some people who, for a variety of reasons, need to come off drug for a period of time who will continue to do well after going off drug for uh, even long periods of time. Whether that means that these patients can stop the drug, we don't know. Also, many of the toxicities tend to be seen early, but there are patients who can have toxicities that are seen late. So um, it's not that there is no harm in continuing to treat a patient who is doing well. There may be harm. They may derive no additional benefit, um, but some risk of additional toxicity. The answer is we don't know yet. There are studies that are, that are underway that are trying to evaluate this question. Um, but in reality, those studies are very, very hard to conduct. Um, they take a long time to get results, and you have to enroll a huge number of people up front um, knowing that only a percentage of those patients are going to um, still be on drug a year later, and, um, and it does end up being a very difficult question to answer. Um, I think in many respects, these questions are going to be answered in our clinics. Um, there'll also probably be payers that have some input into this. Um, in my clinic, I tend to have a lot of people who you know, sort of desperately reached out for clinical trials of immune checkpoint inhibitors, and those people are terrified of stopping their drug. Um, they understand that it may be the wrong thing to continue it after years, but they still want to continue it. Um, on the other hand, uh, patients who are... Er, er, Patients who are seen in a practice that is not the same as mine, where they're maybe not quite as motivated, they're not the people who have flown in for a checkpoint inhibitor every few weeks, that group of people may get sick of coming in for the drug and they may choose uh, to stop it. And uh, that may be where our data comes from, although as I say, there are studies that are undergoing. Uh, the Checkmate 153 study looking at Optivo um, is, uh, will look to address that question. Uh, but again, studies like that take a long time to answer their question if they can answer it at all.